and Zenith proceeds to Mega Evolve. Let's get him! And then proceeds to blaze kick and break into the uh, into the ship, um, uh, breaching a hole through. As uh, the rest of you all proceed to hop in, and oh yeah, Jacob, you gotta change your icon. Oh yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm busy doing something. All right. <laughs> He's busy dying over here. Oh my god. Yeah. Ugh. I'm okay. gonna go back to dying, alright? Uh-huh, uh-huh, alright. And then, alright. So, everyone, uh, let's see. You can put your character tokens with Zenith and the others as it's time for some prison break music. So who's ready to cause some chaos? All right, where's that generator room? That will be, uh, will be that away as he's literally just like pointing right across from there. Unfortunately, the uh, literally pointing down the stairs, huh? Unfortunately, the uh, the well, the captain's room is on this floor. I'm gonna take a sort of roundabout way through. And, uh, we suck. And, uh, so, uh, Zen So, by this point, alarm bells have already started to ring as, uh, Zenith and the other two, uh, immediately start rushing over. And then they immediately hear someone say, Hey! What are you doing here? As, coming from the little, like, bench area, is sec. a seismitoad. Now, great a water type. Uh, hey, uh, you, um, hey, you guys, think you can handle that guy? You seem to be a bit more well equipped than us. We'll be um uh, he heading downstairs later, as they immediately just rush, uh, rush down and go down the stairs. Uh, get back here! And then that's when the Seismus Toad uh, spots you three. So, um, we're gonna do things a little, a little funky. Why don't you guys uh, describe what uh, you want to do um, against the Seismus Toad, and we'll see if it works or not. Alrighty, let's see. Um... Okay. So, um, do we need to put like our uh, initiatives in, or? Uh, nah, nah. This is this is okay. This one's gonna be a little simpler. I would at least recognize it as a probably a water type, even though I don't know it's probably ground. Oh uh, um, yeah, yeah. You did hear that Zenith said, "Oh, great, a water type." Hey, you guys, can you guys handle this? Hmm. I in character would probably go for to move out a little bit and then charge beam, even though that is not at all optimal. All right. Uh, now I'm gonna be as far away as I can and do, to do that. Cool, I'll be like right over here. Um, so yeah, I'll, I'll do that. Cause I think it's just a regular water type. I just realized I forgot to do something, but uh, <laughs> eh, whatever. I think we'll be fine. Uh, mm, I don't know. This might be a bit too overcomplicated. Hey, you guys mind if I do a little quick retcon? Sure. Okay, so uh, Asunado, um, someone else was uh, in the uh, ship with you. It was actually uh, a Delphox, and uh, the mm -hmm. Delphox does a little funky little magic thing for you. That proceeds to make your scar disappear. And hmm. Zenith explains, you've already gotten a bit of a reputation as a uh, as a uh, trial goer. We don't want that unnecessary publicity getting too much attention. But hmm, who knows? Maybe eventually, after all this is uh, after those trials are over, you can show your real face, huh? 
Alrighty. Uh, anyways, so yeah. <laughs> uh, realize I forgot to do that and panicked a little. Okay, so mm -hmm. Asinato, you fire off a charge beam and that proceeds to just do nothing. The seismic toad just like blasted off. It's like, <laughs> oh, you, first time you ever got up against a ground type before, or something like that. What is? What's with you? Uh, Kara oh and Damien, uh, would you like? Yeah. Kara and Damien, would you guys like to try anything? Um. Huh, I feel like Damien's just gonna kill. Um. Yeah. <laughs> Damien, Violence. Like I feel like Damien's just gonna rush up to the something and just fight it. <laughs> All right. Let's what is, see. Wait. What? Sorry. I'm only now looking at Kara's abilities and. Ah. Uh, uh huh. What the da da? Oh yeah yeah yeah. The, all the all the like bone abilities that Cubone gets in this system. What is bone system. lord? Custom abilities, baby. Yeah, it's uh kind of funky. Yeah, let's. Automatic bone rush automatically hit. Doesn't have. She doesn't have bone rush, does she? She does have bone rush. Okay. Yeah. Don't worry. I got all. <sighs> oh yeah. Range of line six, but you probably added this all in. Yeah. Okay. Once per scene move. Once per scene per move. The following moves may be used as if they had the following bonuses. So Bone Club does that, Bone Rank does that, and Bone Rush does that. Okay. Um. I. I'm so lost. <laughs> That's no worry. Yeah, That's... Jacob just now just checks what he can do. I mean, to be fair, I already know everything I can do. Uh -huh. so I'm just myself. And also, uh, uh, Glassy is just playing another Eevee. She has a different build. Yep. I guess I, like, water resists ground, I think. Nope. No. No? <laughs> no. Okay, then and I And ground guess... does not resist ground also. It is completely neutral. Oh, it's a water ground type. Yeah. yeah. Yes, but it is neutral to ground still. I guess I'll go for like bone rush. All right. Uh. <coughs> okay. So, um, and like, uh, let's see. Let me let me check bone rush. I'm gonna be real honest, I wasn't really paying attention before because I thought I wasn't gonna be controlling anything, but now that I'm controlling Too bad. Kara, I am. Um, really wish I was paying attention. A uh, prison uh, break! We had a dramatic emotional moment last night, and now we're doing a, a, a mission for the funny cult. Just to break Kara some people out of prison. Want to kill this person? Not to kill necessarily, but to knock him out to complete the mission. Yeah. Uh, Kara is a little bit on vengeance mode in general yeah. in life right now, and now no, I... Bone rush. Yeah, no, we're yeah. not not specifically against the seismitoad, but like, yeah. in general. Yeah, so yeah. Kara just like summoning a little bit of her aggression from what, uh, from uh, the information from last night, uh, channels all of that in to just like wail on this guy, and he's like actually like taking some considerable damage from the attack. It's like, ah, what the, ah! And um, what does Damien do? While Kara's just like smack him in the face. Um. Damien pulls a step in. It's petty theft. We love crimes. Is it gonna bite him? Yep. All right. So uh, yeah, you proceed to bite him, and like, um. Like you, you uh, Damien bites one of the Cybertoad's hands. He's just, like, he's just like howls in pain. He's like, ah, get off of me! He's just like waving your hand around as uh, Kara just like um, one of the Bone Rush hits. Kara just like sweeps under the Cybertoad's hat uh, feet, and he just like uh, comes crashing down and falls. Uh, Asnado, would you like to do anything that could finish him off? Well, uh, yeah, we're gonna giga drain this boy. All right. <sighs> Uh, cool. Do I need to roll it or just nah, like, nah, nah. At this point, cool. especially, um, yeah. 
So you just like Giga Drain him, and like you feel nice and refreshed. And then the uh, size door is like beaten by kids. I'm never gonna live this down. And then just passes out. Huh? Not bad, you two. Although, yo, Asinato, you gotta learn your type matchups. This guy's a ground type. Yeah, I didn't know that. I'm sorry. <sighs> Whatever. All right. Anyway, there's gonna be more of them if we don't move. Let's go. All right. So, uh, you guys follow. Or do we want? Can we stuff this dude's body into one of these closets? Um, what? these aren't closets. You realize that these are actually or holding rooms. cells. Are there people in them? Yeah. Should these... we just expect? Oh, okay. These are then. holding cells. <laughs> Dang. Yeah. I don't see anywhere I could put it. Unfortunate. Yeah. So just kind of like bring it outside of the main hallway. Like I don't know. Uh. Bring it like right over here, so it's not immediately in view of the hallway. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, we can do that one sec. Uh, we're all gonna work together to do that though, cause <laughs> yeah, 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 all uh, three of you just like struggle to just drag him over. It's like, uh, and yeah, we just kind of set him by the stairs. Yeah, all right, there you go. Okay, right. we hit the body. Let's go. All right, down the stairs. The body has been discovered. Oh, For no. <laughs> All right, so, um, so meanwhile, in the basement floor, Zenith and the others uh, proceed to uh, to proceed to be like, all right, let's keep going this way, and rush over, and Brian's like, okay, this is the generator room. We'll let them take care of this. All right, you two, come on, uh, come on up. And the right is like, oh wait, oops, there we go. The right is like, oh, I don't want to climb up the ladder. You're gonna climb the ladder now. Shut up and quit whining. Uh, and the three Glyscore's of them... just gonna float up it, like, beside yeah, it. Yeah, the score is just gonna casually fly up. And, uh... Whoops. There we go. Alright. Oh, uh... There we go. As, that is, as that is happening, um... So you guys, uh... You guys, uh, make your way down. And, uh... There we go. So, uh... You guys are making your way, and... You, uh, overhear some voices. What was that? Do we have intruders? The alarm's going off. And both Asunato oh, and Kara perk up as they recognize these voices. No. There's no way. They, they couldn't be here. Why would they be here? I mean, I don't know why, but hey, I didn't think we get a chance this early, but we, we can take it. And Kara just immediately rushes like, I'm going after them. Whoa, hey, kid! My, wait. Oh, my God. Kid, wait for me. I'm like, okay, let's go, quickly. And then you and, guys... And, uh, Damien, like, you would expect yeah. to ask about this, but Damien never heard everything. Yeah, so. Damien's like, what the heck is... Oh, yeah, whatever. And then, uh, then you guys find yourselves face-to-face -face with the Skull Clan. It's like, well, look who it is. <laughs> Oh, that's... The Runaway! We love Mechanical Rhythm. Yes. This isn't Mechanical Rhythm, this one gets in our way. Xenoblade. Okay. Actually, no, 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 this is uh, those who stand in our path. Yeah. Okay, I got the wrong one. Mm -hmm. This isn't uh, fast, fast enough for uh, mm -hmm. Mechanical Rhythm. And... Asinato, you now realize that the person that you now can definitely tell, the person you're standing, that you're standing in front of, the one that has killed not just your mother, but Kara's as well. You. What are you doing here? If this fight goes in our favor, can I request my scar be revealed towards the end? Perhaps. Okay, cool. But yeah, as like you, uh, um, but yeah, because of that, like that, uh, is mainly that whole thing that Guardia says is, uh, geared towards Kara. And Kara's like, what do you mean, run away? You banished me, remember? Shut up, child! Because of, because of, the heck? Fongo, hello? <coughs> Dang. There we go, okay. Shut up, child. Because you left the island, 
we could have uh, continue in our in the trial. Now we're, we're stuck with this. Stuck. What do you mean? I think he. I think she means that they have to take odd jobs just to make ends meet. How's any of this my fault? Also, uh, Kara, add your speed to the initiative, please. If you weren't so weak, then none of this would have happened. And, and Kara's just like, hearing all of this, she's just not taking it. Okay, there we go. Um, Asunato. As, uh, as, Gar as Guardian and Kara going back and forth, what are you going to do? As Kara's what? Sorry. Uh, I as, need to bongo down. As Guardia and Kara are going uh, back and forth, what do you do? Hmm. I'm gonna... My... You leave her alone, and I'm stepping up a bit. <laughs> uh, sh shut up, child. Get out of this. This has nothing to do with you. Oh, you have no idea how wrong you are. And I'm not a child anymore. All right. Well, uh, well it's your turn. You get to do something. Okay. Let's see. <laughs> we are going to, at least right now, <laughs> see how much that would change it. Hmm. I'm going to initially acid spray onto the onto Guardia. All right. Let me actually actually let me check how do I need. Actually, that's on. Uh, that's a guaranteed. Cool. Uh huh. Which one's the one that killed Kara's? Uh. Nemesis. The one. No, Guardia. Nah, the what? one. Yeah, yeah. The uh, Alola Marowak were uh was Kara's mom that died. Mm -hmm. okay. This is a different one. Yep. Okay. <clears throat> Why are we all right. floating in the air? Huh? I'm just looking at, like, this, it's like a two-by-two two hallway, and we're just on the walls. What do you mean? Huh? Um, huh? I think your, your thing's a little funky. Alright, I gotta refresh. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, uh, so, uh, okay, yeah, that will definitely hit when you. Does ground resist poison? It does. Yep. Okay, so yeah, that's gonna do only half damage. Okay, so that is 30. Alright, so Guardia is only going to take one damage from that, but <clears throat> that is a guaranteed uh, spadef drop by two stages. <coughs> okay. And, uh, um, Guardia's like, was I supposed to feel something from that? Stupid child! Get out of our way! Damien, you're up. Okay. Same with that. Oh boy, another melee attack. <laughs> Sorry, the speed. <laughs> uh, yeah, like Damien, as you can see, no. both personality and combat wise, <laughs> is like the antithesis to Misha. They should give Damien Scrappy. Uh, I need to. My overland is four, so I need to like, move right. Again, is not gonna do much because I still can't hit him. But let's try out a combat. Let's try a combat maneuver. That's all I really can do. 
Let's do a, a manipulate with terrorize. Alright. So I need to. We'll say that because, like, Damien is. Well, actually, like. Uh, I didn't really, like, add anything into their intimidation stack because, like, that's just, like, something that the character sheets don't do. But because Damien is a salty little boy, we'll say. Yeah, we'll do that. There we go. I buffed his intimidate a bit. Alright. Right. What? Tragic. Oh god, okay. There's, there's only so much I can do. Alright, how- There's nothing we can do. If you- if you had left it alone, and I would've been a perfect mistake. Let's see. Hold on. Alright, that is- alright. And- Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> at that point, I can't do much against that. Uh, so we'll say Damien's just like, just like glaring at him. Is like, is that supposed to, is that supposed to scare me? What are you kids trying to do here? Anyways, now it's Guardia's turn, and she's going to step up towards uh, Damien. Uh, 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 I'm tied with guard. Oh yeah, that's right. Uh, flip a coin. Ads. Now, uh, Jacob, it, oh this is specifically God. the person who killed your mom in cold blood, so you feel no reservations, probably. Oh, and also, oh, yeah, sorry, sure. sorry, Bestie, that was, um, uh, it was, it was Tails. Okay. Actually, not, Guardian is not gonna, <laughs> uh, not gonna move. Instead, she's gonna go for a focus energy. Dang. Oh! Oh, I know what that move does. Uh huh. Yeah, sounds familiar. Yeah. Okay. All right. Now her moves got the funky little thing. Right, it's a lot weaker in this. Well, that's because it's passive, as opposed to being like much higher chances for one move. All right, Kari, you're up. So Kara it speaks out as like, Guardia, tell me the truth. Did you kill my mother? What are you talking about, child? What lies have these have these filth been filling your mind? What happens when you and my mother went on that mission? Your mother was weak. We simply disposed of her. You killed her, didn't you? Say it! And now, Car, uh, Jacob, make your move. Alrighty then. Um. Yeah, let's just go for a bone rush. What's the sure. range on that? that? Wait, does that require me to be in melee? It does. Yeah. Ah! What's Car's movement? No, it's less than Chef! He's just a little baby. <clears throat> mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five! Do you have any ranged right. moves? Huh? Do you have any ranged moves? Oh, let's see. Let me check for range. Okay, four. You should definitely yeah, check I got that. some. I got something. Ah, uh, I guess I can go for, like, Bone Meringue. Alright, yeah. Literally everything else is melee. <laughs> Alright, Bone Meringue it is. It has double strike, whatever that is. Oh, uh, that I mean, means... Points. Wait, hold on. That Does that mean... mean I roll that again? Uh, no, not exactly. What that means is... Actually, I think I already said that. Basically, it would mean that the damage base is calculated twice. Let me just see. That was Bone Ring, right? Okay, yeah. so... Uh, in that case, just uh, redo that. Just redo the damage roll on that one. Okay. Alright, there we go. Alright, so that'll, that does 43 damage against Guardia, right? Yeah. 
All right. So it's essentially double strike is just you have advantage on the damage roll. Uh, no, because what I just edited the damage base. Because if you look back and check, I added an extra five. Because the damage base of Bonerang is five, but that's only if it hits once. Oh, okay. Yeah. <clears throat> Alright, that'll do 18 damage. And now it is Nemesis' turn. Alright. Let's see, how shall we do this? Uh, Nemesis is going to move up slightly and is going to attempt a bone meringue of his own against Damien. And oh. Jesus! Dang. Okay, critical hit. Uh, Damien takes fifty-eight damage, physical damage. All right. Oh. Physical damage. Mm-hmm. Okay. How many crits have the uh, NPCs hit versus how many have we hit this session? Yeah. I think you. Uh, I think one of you guys got a crit today, but <laughs> I got two so far. All right, and then Mero is gonna realize that this is a little tight uh, uh, quarter, so they're going to back up a bit to try to get uh, some range to get some distance. And Asunado, you're up. Alrighty. What is the usual range of Bone Marine? Uh. Because Bone Lord sets it to six, but only once per scene. Uh, normally it just says six. Hold on, let me check something. All right. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Um. You get a giga drain. That's... No, why would I move up close to do that? Fair. Also, I saw full health. Um. That's... Instead. Oh, by the way, they can hit you with ground type moves. The uh, why exactly? Bone board. Gotcha. Cool. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I think it's. Oh no, no, it's not bone board. It's bone wielder. The user's bone club, bone meringue, and bone rush moves ignore immunity against ground type moves. Gotcha. So unfortunately, in your case, it would deal super effective damage. Yep. Um, we're gonna click the funny move. Oh, um, it's specifically line six, meaning anything in the line instead of just one target gets hit. That's what it means with uh, with a um, uh, bone rush or bone ring. Oh, so I could do I could do a line effect. Yeah, pretty cool. much. Okay, so <laughs> Super Fang on Guardia. That will hit. And that will be... Damn, it brings him down pretty hard. Guardia's gonna go... You, like, sink your teeth into to her arm and she just, like, like... Uh... Yanks away. <laughs> uh, what are you... Ah! Uh, what Damien, can Damien do? Huh? Ooh. First, let me get up. So. And... Hey, we're getting real personal here. <laughs> if you have a dark move, you can super effective against Nemesis. True, but again, melee. Okay. It's like two feet away. I was gonna should be able get to rid move, of, right? I wanted to get rid of Guardia. See, like, but I would like to Giga Drain Guardia, and I cannot get a lot of damage off of Giga Draining a fire type. Okay, so if you I will move to Nemesis and I will like once again pull a shaft and use fight. Alright. Munch. You're calling it pull a chef? Crunchity yeah. munch. That's what you did. <sighs> That's good. Yes, and it got me into this situation now. <laughs> 
but it's given us. You know, uh, Damien is not gonna eat any appendages though. Uh huh. So yeah, yeah. Damien Damien just bites into uh, Nevis's arm. Right now it's Guardia's turn, and Guardia's like, "I'm going to make you regret you regret this." And then F, and then right as she says, like, "Wait a minute, you're that electric we saw earlier." What happened to you? What happened to that? What happened to that ugly scar of yours? Um, hmm. I'm trying to see. Hmm. Do I play it off as? And I'm like, okay, yeah, no. Um, I'm not sure exactly who you're talking about. Might have been a different electric. <sighs> Whatever. You're all the same. Pests. Now get out of my sight. And oh, that's oh, great. Yeah, it's all over. Didn't. Well, I'm telling you, it's rigged. 66 multiplied by 1.5. That's, that's 99, 99 physical damage on yeah. you, Austin Otto. Once again, rigged. Jesus I hate Christ. roll 20s, RNG. I did, that, that didn't even what? require. See, if it gave us an equal, yeah. a relatively equal amount of crits, fine. Uh huh. Are you uh, thinking that Roll20 uh, is biased towards whoever has the GM account? <laughs> I think Roll20's RNGs are off in some way that I don't understand, but I know is whack. <laughs> and, uh, yes, uh, and then Guardian Wait, just like... Up? Yeah. Okay. And then, uh, Guardia just like, uh... Wait, what the heck? That, I should not be fainted from that. Oh, wait, what? Really? Yeah. No, I, I, I have 112. I don't know why I just suddenly... Yeah, what the heck? So we're gonna say... I, I did. Should be 26. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, and you just get like sent back. <gasps> and Carter's like, Astonado. <sighs> yeah, let's Astonado, go. that name. You are, you're that child from the cave. <laughs> oh, you're so you're both here for revenge. How amusing. What does Car what would Kara like to do? Um, Kara would be more strategically optimal to hit the uh, Lowland one, but I don't know. Kara's enraged. In character, yeah, I know. Kara's enraged. And that means I can't heal myself, but also Kara would absolutely in character smack the this marrow. Yeah, oh, absolutely. Get up close. Let's go for Bone Rush. We're gonna go for the thing where it hits four times. All right. I think I made a separate thing. There we go. All right. <clears throat> you know what? I think I'm gonna do this now. All right. Okay. So, in just a um, in just utter complete anger, Carl rushes forward and Asinato in uh, uh Damien from the corner of his eye but Asinato you get a full view of this as Kara starts to glow this men this menacing purple hue <coughs> mm -hmm. as sorry I heard the music yep <laughs> Returning Bongo back up, baby. As her form now changes to that of a Marowak, and you can just faintly see another one right behind her. And, uh, let's see. <coughs> oh, true. Change that icon, Jack. Jacob. I said shoot. I have. No, I said, I have I, oh, change the icon. Well, I haven't. Yeah. I haven't given him access to it. I just prop pop this up. Don't worry. One sec. Uh, as you see, that Kara has now finally evolved into a Marowak. Hmm. 
and through the force of both her own strike and the strike of this other Marowak behind her, both slam against Guardia. And a hit that would normally leave her with six hit points is enough to, in this state now, bring her down as she's just sent flying back into this wall. And it's completely out of hit points as she slowly slides <coughs> down. It's like, what is this? And Kara slowly walks forward and is like, vengeance. Now it's Nemesis' turn and just, and is like almost like terrified at seeing this. But is going to try to react differently anyways. And let's see, how shall we do this? Is going to try for, let's see, is going to try to hit a uh, flame wheel. Actually, no, no, no. It's actually going to try to hit a bone club, but it's going to roll at disadvantage on the accuracy. It's a flanking moment. Unfortunately, uh, that is a 12, so that will still hit, but... Uh, that is only... Oh, now I get a low roll. Alright, whatever. However, it only does 37 damage. To who? To Kara. Ah, okay. Physical damage. 37 reduced to... Oh, dang, that physical defense! Does Kara's physical defense go up from evolving? Not yet. Just gotcha. for the sake of time. That's so, Kara loses four. How many? <laughs> oh, what item is Kara holding, by the way? I should uh, check that. Nothing, actually. Is it a, is it, oh, dang. No can, item. Can Kara steal the bone club off of one of their bodies <laughs> to get the funny boosting item? Hmm. Uh, or what's it called? Uh... Thick club. The Thick Club. And Mar Mero, in response to seeing Guardia down, is going to try to rush over and to, um, to avenge them. And, uh, let's see. And is going to try to use Thrash against Kara. However, in this current state that Kara's in, Guardia... I mean, Mero just proceeds to just rush right through her. Oh? Uh -huh. What? Wait, is Kara a, a, like an Alolan? A, a nighttime Mero? Not uh, really. Not quite. Uh, it's just using not the power of friendship, the power of rage. The power, the power of vengeance. The power of vengeance, exactly. Ostinato, you're up.